So in this one, we're going to go ahead and get started with signing up for an account for an NN. I want you to start with just the cloud account for now because they give you a 14 day trial um, and that's going to be a good way for you to get started. Don't worry about self hosting at this point. If you're new to NNN, I think it's a good way to get started is to their app uh, cloud account, which is very, very simple. So that way you can at least get familiar with the, uh, with, the uh, with the canvas, with workflows and all that good stuff. So I've put a link uh, below. Click on that. It will take you directly here. You're going to come and click on get started. So go ahead and uh, fill your name, a company email, just put your personal email, a password in the account you're going to be uh, putting. For example, for me, it's going to be aiworkshop.app.n8n.cloud. So this is going to be the URL. Um, so once you do that, click on try for free and then this will uh, log you in into the account. And this you only have to do this once because next time you come into this URL, it will automatically sign you in and bring you to your workflow. Okay, so once you do that, once you log in, it might ask you a question about, you know, what you're using in an part. Go ahead and uh, fill that out and then it'll bring you to your dashboard. So this is where you're going to get started after you log in. Uh, it might take a couple of seconds um, for it to get online, so you, but it will tell you uh, when you're online. It will just going to say currently online and then you can click on the open here. So just a quick introduction here. So the version, we'll take a look at that in a little bit, but this is going to be the latest version um, and I will make sure I um, kind of show you where to update your version because that's very important because whenever they're releasing uh, new versions they're going to be fixing different uh, bugs that might be in uh, the nodes that you're going to be using so you want to make sure you're running the latest version okay so let's go ahead and click on open workspace okay once you do that you're brought in to kind of this workflows homepage and on the top left hand corner here it says 14 zans left in your n8 and trial so that's what it's going to look like which is great because you can use this for uh, 14 days for free and then if you are okay with using Using the cloud and you don't want to go towards the self uh, hosting again it's perfectly fine but anyway so just to kind of give you uh, a layer the layout so the workflow so this is where you're gonna be starting to build these different automations whether it's um, agents so NNN refers to all of that as workflows and that's what I was talking about earlier when it comes to NNN being cheap and uh, compared to these other um, tools that are out there is because they will charge you based on the workflow. So your workflow can be extremely complex. You'll be only charged for the workflow. And by the way, that's on the cloud account, not on the self hosting, because on the self hosting it's going to be different. So for this particular um, account, as you can see right now in the center, it says start from scratch. There's credentials. We'll come back to what that is. On the left hand side, you have the admin panel. Uh, so if you click on the admin panel, this will take you to uh, basically the same place as we were before. And if you want to update the version that I mentioned before, because right now, if I go back to my um, workspace here, on the left hand side in the bottom, if there's any update that needs to be done for this particular version that you're using, it will show up right here. So if you click on admin panel, it will take you back to that starting point and you can click on settings here and this is where you'll be able to see what uh, version you're running and they have several there's like a beta that they have the latest beta and the latest stable so try to stay on the latest stable because that's always um, the safe space to be so you have your time zone if you have a different time zone make sure you're uh, selecting your correct time zones and uh, the bottom you don't have to worry about this for now and again right now this is our trial so this will show you your uh, plan what you're in okay all right so let's go back to our dashboard now so we'll go back to opening it and let's go ahead and create our first workflow so that way i can give you an introduction of what those things are in the bottom here so the templates and variables and all executions don't worry about this for now uh, we'll come back to this at some other point but let's go ahead and click on start from scratch so this is kind of be uh the canvas basically this is where you start with building your workflows but before we do that i just want to quickly go in the bottom and actually change the theme because i like their dark theme it looks a lot better in my opinion but obviously if you're using the light light theme, uh, if you want to use the light theme that's fine as well but the way to change and uh, change the theme here is you're going to come here on your next to your name you're going to click on these three dots go to settings and this will take you to your personal settings. You'll see your name, your uh, email that you use for this account and your password if you want to change that. You can always enable the two factor authentication 
Um, I would suggest doing that if you have really sensitive workflows that you're building. But in the bottom right here, the personalization, you click on theme. They have obviously the light theme that which are currently the default system, but we can click on dark theme and let's go ahead and save this. And as you can see now, the theme changes. And in my opinion, like I said, this is the way better in my uh, user interface or it looks a lot better. Okay, so that's good. Now you're going to go back and this is going to be your uh, canvas again. All right, so a few things to point out here on the top left hand corner. So this is where you can actually name this workflow and I highly, highly suggest naming your workflow whenever you're creating a workflow because that way uh, you don't get lost and you have a good way to organize your workflow so for example this time i'm for this one i'm just going to say test workflow all right and you save it workflow successfully created so now if we go back to our home if you click on home this is the first workflow that you've created and obviously you will see all of your workflows down here all right so the way to get back to your workflow is you're just going to click on it and it'll take you back to your workflow the tags right here so this is where if you have a lot of workflows that you've created in order for you to organize them you can actually tag this unfortunately right now um and it and does not have the ability to um kind of group workflows together so the way to do that so let's say for example if you're building um, uh, accounting workflows and you want to be able to separate that to for, for example uh, from your invoicing or from your customer support workflows then what you could do is just add a tag to it so for example for this one I'm just gonna add a tag of AI agents right so now this workflow will always have this AI agent tag next to it so if I go back to my home page on the right next to the workflow as you can see right here it says AI agent so next time let's say I have a hundred workflows here and I only want to see the workflows that have the AI agent tags I can click on filter and you can say filter by tags and as you can see my AI agent workflow tag shows up there and when I click on that filter it will list all of the uh, workflows that are related to that tag okay all right so I'm gonna get rid of that remove filter let's go back inside our test workflow okay so on the right hand side here you can see there's these three dots and then um, there's the upgrade the save the share and inactive so on the three dots so if you click on this this will give you several options to download import um, another workflow into this and again like I said we will get into this later on where we build uh, other complex workflows where then you can uh, actually import that template inside uh, this workflow and it will bring everything over but again, like I said, for that, we will talk about that at other videos. Uh, and you can always download your workflow as well. So once you build your workflow, you can download it as a JSON file, and then you'll be able to uh, import it or take it with you to another um, uh, workflow and be able to put that in there as well. You can duplicate this workflow, obviously, and then you can always delete it as well. Make sure you're always saving your workflow. That's a really good habit to have as you move forward and bring, uh, build your workflows. Make sure you're always saving it because otherwise uh, your progress might get lost if something uh, gets closed uh, without uh, you doing that on purpose. So share, again, for now, we don't have to worry about this. For now, we'll come back to this later. Inactive, inactive, and again, once we build our uh, workflows, I'm gonna uh, explain what this is. So in the center here, uh, we have the editor and the executions. So the executions will come back later on when we actually go through and build a few workflows and try out uh, and test these out. We'll come back and I'll explain what executions are. But you will be on the editor section whenever you're building your workflows. All right, and then on the bottom right here, so uh, the zoom to fit whenever you're uh, zooming in or zooming out, you can always, if you have, for example, multiple connecting nodes or multiple connecting uh, workflows that you've built and you want to go back and kind of zoom out and go and see everything together, you can quickly come in here and click on Zoom Fit and it will center everything and it will show all of the nodes or all of the different connecting apps that are inside that workflow. You can obviously always zoom in and zoom out and then with this one, you can go back to and reset the zoom as well. Uh, the test workflow button, so this is where once you build the workflow you can actually test it using this button and again we'll go through and actually uh, take a look at how that function works so you add the first step by either click on the center or right here right and again on the next video i'm going to go ahead and show you how to put in your first node 
and build a very very simple workflow so that way you get an understanding uh, but for this one again this is already getting very long so I just wanted to give you kind of an introduction of the different um, things that are inside your canvas and how to navigate within your canvas and within your account once you create it all right so I will see you on the next one